Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and we have yet another pack to open. Today is patch 5.1.2 or maybe it's another number, I can't really remember them. But nonetheless, the Vigilant Defender Cartel pack has been um, put on the cartel market. And if you guys remember my pack preview video that I did, it showed off some really nice mounts, another new and fancy flare, but the armor sets were a little bit on the, um, on the kind of bad side. Um, if we pop quickly into collections here, we can look, take another look at them. But, um, you know, I was looking through them again and they're not as bad as I'd made, made them out to be. I mean, like, uh, you have the Reclusive Master and the Cunning Statement as the gold ones. The Reclusive Master is okay. Uh, the Cunning Statement, I'm not sure why that's gold. The Badlands Renegade Armor Set. This one was originally data mined to be a gold armor set, but Bioware very cunningly and, and, and I'd say it's a smart move, changed it over to bronze because it was totally a bronze armor set, even though it's really ugly. Uh, just junk. The Imperial Advisor and the Royal Guardian. These are pretty nice silver armor sets on a second look. Um, then going on to some of the mounts, we have the Protector's Mount. Not as flashy as the other mounts, but nonetheless, it is a Command Throne, so that's very cool. Uh, then we have some other really nice mounts, like this Vectron Colette here. Uh, kind of cool, has a pretty nice flourish. And then some of the silver mounts are nice as well. So on second look, basically, this pack is a little bit better than what I would have thought. Uh, even this nice little lightsaber here, I think um, this lightsaber hilt is one of the nicer ones that have been released recently uh, some of the other stuff like the grand tech stuff hasn't really worked out well i'm just going to run over here and do something very important you guys should make sure you do this before every single cartel pack opening okay pray to the damn rng gods because you need to when you're opening this pack uh, as i've suggested in time after time again in my previous videos do not buy cartel packs they're just so bad i uh, just buy what you want off the gtn but i'm just going to go against my own advice here and open one to show you guys that the drop rates are pretty crappy um I would expect it to be right off the bat, uh, just forget about the platinum items, you're not really going to get them. And with, even with the gold stuff, um, let's hope for maybe some of the mounts, that's what I'm really hoping for. I really want that command flare because as I've said, buy what you want off the GTN, but I know for a fact that command flare is going to be very, very expensive. Uh, the command flare from the Eternal Command Pack, that one right now is selling for like 5 to 10 million credits. Um, and the, you know, even some of the mounts from the last cartel pack, have been selling for a ton of credits. I don't think the tank has dropped below six, seven mil on the Harbinger. So I guess there are some items you're gonna wanna get out of this pack if you do choose to open it, uh, because those are not gonna go for cheap on the GTN, but a lot of the other stuff will. All right, so we're gonna take some of these 26 packs. It's got that nice little Iocath animation going there. That's actually like a decoration now. I think that's a decoration out of this pack, or maybe it's out of the last one. Oof. I'll preview the decorations I do end up getting at the end of this video. All right, so the first pack, come on. Are we going to get any golds? And then we got a uh, Ganchansky book and then Toxic Canisters. Yeah, these decorations are actually pretty nice. Um, so I'm pretty excited to check out some of those. Grand Chance Cube, Grand Chance Cube. Let's see here. Uh, well, the bronze stuff. Now, this is just going to be the complete chunk. Uh, both of the bronze armor sets, as I showed earlier, are just so bad. They're not, they're just, I would, wouldn't even try to sell them. I'd just destroy them because they're probably going to sell for like 3 to 5k on the GTN. More bronze stuff and um, ah, the Ortec Assault Cannon. Yeah, Assault Cannon's another piece of junk. Probably worse than the bronze stuff. No one buys Assault Cannons anymore, unless they're the really, really nice ones. And the yellow gold crystal. Uh, I, I previewed that. Um, or maybe I didn't preview that. I don't remember. Nonetheless, it's not too nice. And more bronze. You know, every time you open a cartel pack, think about it. That is a cartel pack that sells for a minimum of 1 million credits. And that's why I kind of feel so disenfranchised when opening them. Because every time I open it and I see myself getting these bronze stuff over and over again, like the Badlands Renegade time and time again, that's just like 1 million credits down the drain. Because that's an armor piece that could have gotten off the GTN for 3k. So really what you're playing for when you open these things are a chance at getting the platinum stuff and a chance at getting some of the really good gold stuff. Because the bad gold stuff will sell for cheap on the GTN too. You know, like um, the uh, the cunning statement that that one I showed you guys there. Oh, this one's gonna be gold. The reclusive master's upper body armor. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm not sure what that will sell for, but um, hopefully it'll sell for a lot. As I was saying, even the bad gold stuff will sell pretty cheap. So you want some of the good gold stuff, like the flare. Come on, be the flare. Okay, the Vectron Colette. As I previewed, it was a very nice mount, but actually, unfortunately, this one's probably gonna sell for pretty cheap on the GTN. Because all of the other Vectron mounts have sold for pretty cheap. 
So it just kind of depends on what players are willing to pay and sell it for. Uh, the behemoth, as I was talking about, the tank mount hasn't sold under 6 mil, so that was a very good one. I just got this a cool hovercraft as a gold decoration. I'm not too crazy about getting gold decos from this uh, pack, just or from any pack really, uh, just because they, as I mentioned, sell for very cheap on the GTN. So it's not, you know, a really good gold stuff. Toxic canisters. Uh, is that all? Have I filled my gold item quota? Let's see here. Yep. No gold items. I did end up getting that nice lightsaber though. Um, yeah, so three gold items. That's average for this pack. But um, looking here, there's a cool hovercraft, the Vectron Colette, and the reclusive Master's upper body armor. Nothing really that I wanted, as I was saying. I would have liked the Command Throne, the Corrupted Acclay, or the um, Flare as kind of... I, I put those as good gold items. And then the other stuff could have been bought off the GTN. I mean, I probably would have been better off just selling this pack for credits on the GTN and then buying what I wanted when those items become unbound and people start selling them. Uh, as I, I mentioned that in a very recent video called Why You Should Never Buy a Hypercrate for Cartel Coins. And that's just entirely true. You should never do that. You, could se you should sell that Hypercrate on the GTN and buy what you want. So I'll go ahead and preview some of these decorations here while I kind of just talk. Uh, yeah, there's a cool hovercraft. It's in the starship hook, and I don't think I have a starship hook on the Dorman Cache. Maybe I do, but um, I'll just preview it like this so um, we don't waste time trying to find it. That's pretty cool. But um, any gold decoration will always drop in price uh, because decorations don't unlock in collections and stuff like that. So, you know, oftentimes those types of items won't sell for that much, even if they're gold. Uh, take, for example, the Nathema, uh, Nathema gold decorations from the last Star Wars leader pack. I picked them up because I wanted to collect them, and I picked them up for under a mil. So that's pretty bad for a gold item. Okay, we're going to search for one of these decorations here. So I'll kind of quickly mention, um, as I tr try and fail to find this decoration, um, I'm just going to quickly talk about uh, the pack. Yeah, so as I was saying, very nice, but... Um, but you should just buy the stuff off the GTN. Uh, one of the comments that I actually got from my recent video was um, people were saying, well, if you're giving people advice to not buy the cartel packs from the cartel market and just buy them off the GTN, then um, no one's going to be putting them stuff, putting the stuff up on the GTN if everyone followed that advice. So it kind of plays both ways, right? You need people who are actually paying the money and putting that stuff up. And the simple answer is, I don't want my subscribers doing it. You know, people who have deemed me worth following and listen to what I have to say, I want to make sure I'm giving them the best advice. And my advice is, it's just such a huge loss of credits and actually your own money if you're paying for cartel coins. Um, it's just such a huge loss opening these cartel packs. Every time I opened a cartel pack and I got that Badland Renegades upper body armor, which I got tons of times, uh, that is going to sell for like 5k and that is a cartel pack that I could have sold for uh, 1 million credits. On a side note, this Akula Nobility statue is awesome. I really like how that looks. Uh, just thematically, that's pretty cool. Looks like something straight out of the Hunger Games movie. Uh, something they would probably have in their main capital place. I don't know, that's just what occurred to me. Anyways, um, so easy to get sidetracked. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so basically I don't want my subscribers uh, wasting their money, right? And at the end of the day, my videos don't have that much influence or pull that if I made a video like that, no one would be buying and putting stuff on the cartel market. People are doing that every day. This game is played by like up to a million, maybe more players. So I'm not too concerned about having that much of an impact on the GTN, on the Harbinger server specifically. But um, nonetheless, if you guys are watching this video and you want to take my advice, and trust me, it's like advice basically everyone would agree with. It's just such a huge loss of money. As I just showed here, three gold items that I probably would be able to buy for for 10 million credits. I mean, that Vectron Colette, not sure what it's going to sell for. Uh, some of the other Vectron mounts have dropped as low as 500k, and some of them have uh, sold at like 1, 2 million, but none really higher than that. Now, this one does have a very nice flourish associated with it. I'm personally not going to use it. I don't really like those mounts. I like using Rancors and some of the bigger, more flashier stuff, but it does have a very nice um, flourish, so... Who knows? This is the elevator sign. Yeah, I have way too many decorations. I started um, using them just for the prestige. Uh, just, I don't know, kind of something to do with all the credits that I have. And, um, and now I just kind of collect every single decoration. I have so many, I don't know what to really do with them. As you can see, my Droman cast stronghold is not decorated whatsoever. I have like three rooms fully decorated, and aside from that, nothing really done. So I've got to kind of sit down and do that when I have some free time. All right, so I'm trying to find some of the other decorations here. 
you know, Bioware should really have um, a more friendlier system. Like, what they should do is, if once you've claimed a decoration, like, right when you've claimed it, if you want to quickly check it or put it somewhere, they should have, like, an option for that there. So, a, a tab that says recently claimed or something, and all the decorations that you've claimed in the past 24 hours get put in there. That would be a nice, like, friendly system for doing stuff like this. Just some of those quality of life improvements that would really help out. You know, you, you want an item, you go to the GTN, you buy it, and then it's like a huge search that you have to do to try to find uh, where it is. Then again, I'm just spastic sometimes with this stuff, so it's probably easier for the normal person, but for me, I'm, I forget, you know, what hook it was and all that stuff. All right, there's the Nathema Lantern. Uh, it looks kind of basic. Not quite sure how that's standing up, honestly, but um, looks very cool. I'm a sucker for all this, um, all these uh, Sith like decorations. The one I just showed you, the Oraconian brazier, the one that had like the fire pit going, that was very nice. I wanted to talk about that, but I don't want to get sidetracked again. Then we have just some basic decoration, the toxic canisters. All right. So I think those are all the decorations that I was able to get out of this pack. There are probably a few more that I didn't end up previewing. Normally I would have opened more cartel packs than this. Like, I don't know, last time I opened three, the time before that I opened like two, or, or maybe I opened three hyper crates as well. But this time around, I just too disenfranchised with opening them. Uh, no matter how many you open, the drop rates are always pretty crappy. And I've just given up on getting any more platinum stuff. I was really lucky because of, uh, for the Eternal Command Packs, I only opened two Hyper Crates, ended up getting myself the Platinum Saber. So I was really lucky about that. But other than that, I'm not going to waste more Cartel Coins or anything opening them. Anyways, that is the pack opening video. This video is way longer than it needs to be. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.